These are my runs I make. There's 16 of these lugs on there. It's just a big long run of parallels. So this is how they're going. I've got all check mark packs. And I just go and stop at the top and follow the string all the way down. Pretty straightforward. Lots more to go. There's about 1,500 lugs I need for this. And I've used 130 in this and here. So I, I ordered a 100 pack just to sample the quality of them. And at my local hardware store, I was getting these. Two bucks, $2.19 plus tax for six. And then I got these guys here. Same, same thing, almost not so shiny. Seems like the, the hole's just a little touch bigger than the than this one. You see the... They're fairly similar. I did uh, scrape them to make sure they're copper on inside. And I'm pretty happy with the quality, I guess. And definitely happy with the price. There you go. About nine dollars for a hundred. So I got another thousand coming. That should uh, keep me busy for a while. I do have to flip. All these have to be flipped. This is the negative with three holes, and then this is the positive with two holes. So I'm gonna take out all the packs I don't like, and only use. Checkmark packs, which I think there's only about five on this side. One, two, three. Yeah, there's very little. Either way, they gotta get spun, so. <clears throat> and then eventually I'll just wrap it around. And I was thinking I might put terminals up here. And each one of these can screw to the terminal, and then all the BMS long lines can go up here as well maybe on an angle put them on a slight angle and then put them flat and I'll build a like a triangle thing here that goes up and over the cap kind of for this and the long ones can also sit on an angle and all the the balance connections can connect on top then if there's anything that fails or any extra heat it's all above the batteries and if the battery pack fails, hopefully it's safe. There's metal separators that separate each. And it's not tight to the pack, so if it did blow, it has room to come out the side. It is a good case. It's just very heavy. When it's fully loaded like this, it's around a thousand pounds plus, so... No moving it. <coughs> anyway, so I'll get this set up. I'm going to tape... Tape all of them except for the first two. Those are the only ones I'm not worried about. All the rest of them, I can't keep an eye on them while I'm doing them. So I just want them covered. Thanks. So that's how I set them up. It's just these last two. That one gets the first one. I put it on like that. And the next one goes on like that. And then after that, I make sure I have a screw in my hand before I pull off the tape. And this row here will be my next row. All the way up. Thanks.
this is where we made it to. And the outed lugs. Got lots of wire, but I'm out of lugs. So it's very important too when you're hooking these up. I haven't had a spark at all. Because I have checked all the voltages between all the cells too, so they're all very even. This top one was a 0.1 off per the whole pack compared to the rest. And I still didn't get a spark yet. So there's still five more rows to hook up. One, two, three, four, five. So it goes all the way up and down. Yeah, that's what they're going to look like. And then they will wrap over the top. I'll just unscrew and put another lug on top of that lug and go over. And I'll probably connect to another set of lugs here. And then that lugs will be the balancing terminals for the long mons to hook up to. And there'll be 12 long mons sitting on here. So it might go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll see. And then this side. I'll get a jump on that tomorrow. And I'm going to start flipping packs and separating packs and checking voltages after I get the whole pack in order. You can see this one here. Pretty much all these packs are going to come. Well, maybe I'll leave that there. All the rest of these. So I'll take out the ones I don't. All of them are coming out because they need to be flipped anyway. So. I'll flip them, put them all back in, take the ones I don't want out. Go from this one. I might not hook this one up right away. I still got a couple more packs that I need to take the BMSs off on this side. And I'll add these packs onto this side. This one's already flipped, so I just need to take out the bad packs. They're the ones that I'm not going to use. Like this one probably. I'll leave these two. Get rid of that one. Leave that one. All the ones that are check marked will stay. Get rid of that one. And I'll just try and uh, I believe I have two racks full. I think I have sixty packs that are good. Or actually, I already got rid of one because <clears throat> it wasn't good. So I do have to check the check mark one still, but. Either way, I'm going to make sure they're all the similar voltage before they get hooked up, so just less problems. And if you do notice some sparking, you're probably best to either discharge the high cells so they equal the low cells, or charge so they're all equal. Yeah, that's where we're at. Thanks.